Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back today to do another book review. This time to do a book review for Percival Ghent and the Conspiracy of Days by Drew Melbourne. And this is another of our self-published science fiction contest finalists. This is what I would call an absurdist space opera sci-fi. And I mean absurdist as in the sense of humor. While I haven't actually read the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, as you can see it's behind me on my unread shelf, I have watched the movie and that just kind of felt like the sense of humor that this book had throughout. But more about the sense of humor in the review part. A quick synopsis, Percival Gint is solicited into an adventure to find the engine of the apocalypse and to destroy it once and for all. And that is going to lead me into the reviews. A pro for this book is the sense of humor. I promised I would come back to that. So it has an what I consider an absurdist sense of humor, but the sense of humor does not overpower the story. It's more absurd, for example, like we have a man in a suit with an umbrella and then we find out this umbrella is made of a microwave that can be bulletproof as well or it can be used as a parachute. It has other uses besides just being a simple umbrella and I like that Melbourne has the perfect balance of that sense of humor whereas it doesn't overpower the story because there are other parts of this book that are dark it needs the sense of humor to help it go past those darker moments and to balance the plot. So I think that Melbourne has nailed that sense of humor beautifully. A con, for me at least, was that very beginning. Yes, it introduces us to Percival, but as I was reading and we were set in the world, I liked the world. With, with a girl coming up to this guy and asking him, I forget the question, but basically if he's good and could be a hero and then they kiss, made me think of the fantasy genre where the guy always gets the girl kind of scenario and I was kind of turned off. However, I kept reading because I was a finalist and so this is where that con then turns into a pro. The author is poking fun at typical stereotypes for fantasy and the sci-fi genres and did a really good job blending those, but they don't retract from you enjoying the book that you are getting and the plot. I think they're more in there like Easter eggs, if you know, you know, kind of thing. A pro for this is the structure of the book. It's split into four parts and there's this little like teaser of what you're going to be getting in each part and it was a lot of fun to see how each part progressed and then fulfilled the teaser for you especially in ways that you were not actually expecting but made the teaser true and I think that it was necessary to have the book in four parts because it it is a long adventure journey that we are on happening in many different places and the parts help you stay focused on what the purpose of each section is for. Another pro for this is the cast of characters. I think that Melbourne has done a good job of having interesting characters that aren't exactly a found family but you find them lovable anyway and you have characters that are brought on and then leave and then come back. It, it's an interesting kind of revolving piece. And I like that as characters leave, you get new ones that become like a new found family for the part of the book that they are needed to be together. A pro for this is I love how Melbourne has used technology in his sci-fi and that is also mixed with magic. So like this is a blend of like science fiction with fantasy tropes as well. So I like how we are introduced to the technology and how the technology is working within the world that we are given. It balances with one another. And even when we have moments that deal with magic, 
they're still balanced with the technology of the universe that we are in. For my final thoughts, I think that if you are someone who likes like Douglas Adams, Terry Pratchett, you are going to enjoy a certain level of humor in your sci-fi. And like I said, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have dark moments in there as well. But I think this sci-fi style is going to be a lot easier for you. Otherwise, if you're not a big fan of those two authors, I would say make sure that you're in a mood to have an adventure romp where you can suspend a little bit of disbelief until you're further into the story and the world building has settled for you. I really enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing more of what Melbourne writes. If you have read this book, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you have thought. Thank you and have a great day.